Hi there, it's Derpy Moose 99 Today we're going to do uh, part one of our banished challenge from Grumpy Gnome Gaming. This one is a Christmas theme. Um, so I've entitled the town Toy Shop. Here's the map seed. Grumpy. <laughs> grumpy. is a grumpy guy. So he's picked cold valleys, uh, small terrain, very harsh climate, disasters on, and Genesis, which I'm sure is like a Jack and Jill or something. Adam and Eve, I guess. So I've never done this combination of map or start or anything before. Could be kind of a tough challenge here, so we'll see. The only restrictions, if I pull up uh, Grumpy's channel here for a second here. Uh, the only mandatory drop will be one or more of each building from the kid Christmas menu. And of course, the Christmas celebration in the park. Not sure what that is, but I'll have to find it. And yeah, so uh, let's get the game back up here. <laughs> well, he's already done three or four hours of this. I, saw, I, wa I didn't watch too much of it. I didn't want to spoil it, but yeah. He picks tough maps. All right, um, so we don't have a lot of land to work with, doesn't look like. Now let me set the camera here so we can get back here. So we got a bit of room over here, but not much. And uh, we might have to use all the overpowered things we can here. <laughs> that is not a lot of room, Grumpy. <laughs> Okay, now let's see here. Yeah, um, I've never, I haven't tried this before, so it'll be interesting to see. Let's get our uh, stats and everything up here. Um, yeah, I probably want to move the camera around here. Just give me a second here. I think for Banish, we usually have me hiding over here. Let me try that. Yeah. I don't know. So, I mean, we got, we have lots of mines and stuff if we want. Nice river here. Hmm. So there's four people, it looks like. I imagine that. Let's just see here. Okay, 12 year old laborer. 12 year old laborer. 15 year old. 19 year old. Okay. So two very young couples, it looks like. Okay. And we've got a little stockpile already with a bit of firewood. And we have apples. Well, okay, I'm good with that. And a little more firewood. Some coats even and some tools, okay? Hmm. And let's have a look here. This is the... Kid Christmas set. So we have a gingerbread house, a town hall. Honey gingerbread house. Huh. Santa's workshop. Workshop home. Warm snacks. I'm down with the warm snacks as you can tell. Uh, let's see. Christmas baker. Hmm. We'll be having gingerbread and shortbread. Well, I'll be muting a few times here to spice house, grape house, okay, animal shed, eggs and milk, nog nook, <laughs> the Yule tap, storage sleigh, warehouse sleigh, decorated sleigh, okay. Christmas tree. Chapel, okay, Christmas tree, and a snowman, <laughs> very cool, 
Oh, it's got a radius too. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So we're probably going to have to play like a horse noty kind of start here. And uh, get some of these buildings going. I'm assuming that if we don't get some trade going here, we're probably going to be in a tough spot here. Hmm. Well, the question would be... Probably a decent spot for a gatherer and stuff down here. Let's see if we can fit one in. Hmm. That's too much wasted area. I think we're going to have to go somewhere around here. So if we do a gatherer there, and let's take a road out somewhere. Well, am I not seeing the hitbox properly? Oh, it's way out there. Okay. That's why I'm not seeing it. Let's take that out there. I usually don't like the angle, but I'll do a temporary one like that. They'll be running back to there a little bit. Anyway. All right, and then across from there, we're going to want a forest lodge here. Yeah, let's put that one on the one with the tower. I haven't used that in a while. See if we can get him in a good spot there. Yeah, it's not terrible. Maybe we'll stagger it a bit, though. So I think we're going to have to do like a regular. Uh, force note start before we start playing with too much of the fancy stuff here. Just to make sure we get some food and logs and stuff going here. And let's pick a decent color though. Or like a red Christmassy one. Yeah, close. Okay, and then uh, let's go back to the theme pack. Honey gingerbread house. <laughs> that looks to me like it actually uses honey for the construction here. Okay. That's living quarters on your workshop. Okay. That's great. Okay. So it doesn't look to me like how we can make Rudolph. How cool is that? It doesn't look to me like there's actually houses in there other than these gingerbread houses that I don't think we can make yet so we're gonna have to pick out something foresty then hmm well maybe let's go back into our forest outpost or one of these guys here I didn't mind these little log houses so let's try it today Yeah, there's a gingerbread house I was just looking at, but it looks like it takes um, non-standard ingredients, if you will, like uh, honey or something. So I'll go back to it in a second. Here. Let's put this on top. Pause here. Yeah, so in the Christmas set is right here. Oh, this is town hall. 
Yeah, no, there is no house then other than the workshop house. Which is a second story, I think, on the workshop. Okay, so we're gonna have to build that outside the forest thing. Um, I think the other thing we probably need in here, good old standard. Okay, so let's go stockpile, gathering hut. And the door house here. Okay, now we need to get some, yeah, log and stone going here. So let's designate some trees. Um, actually, we should do it around here. And let's do a little bit of stone. Maybe out of here somewhere. And let's prioritize the stockpile there. And it's been a while since I've played Banish. You can tell I'm clicking some of the wrong buttons here. Okay, turn off that alarm. And yeah, I'm gonna do a little chicken save here. Hmm. Be interesting to see. We've only got the four here, so yeah. Oh, cool. So, so Sasuke, have you played that this theme before? Like, are we uh, looking at an expert here to help? Because I'm kind of going into this blind. I just read Grumpy stuff the other day and haven't fired it up. I kind of like to look at the terrain though on this map. Okay, we got a bit of log and a bit of stone, but I think it's like a little bit more over here. Now the builders won't look at this stuff until the road's done, but let's see. This is a very small map. I don't know that we're going to be able to get very big here. Like, if we get 40 or 50 people, I'll be a bit surprised here. I don't know how many you need for Santa's workshop, though. Yeah, stuff probably is up. I need another 40 up. Probably should think about a wood chopper and stuff too. Yeah, well, this is a very cold, very harsh climate these picked, so um forty-five. Gonna hold off a little teeny bit. Okay, it looks to me like we have a really neat storehouse. We need 32 logs for the forest. As soon as the storehouse finishes, I'm gonna take one builder out and make a gatherer. And take out the silly food limit thingy. Okay, you guys go get the logs here. We've got 30, 
38. Yep, stockpile built and the house over here. And I just want a simple and quick wood chop here. And I'm just gonna go for my I'm gonna go for the chopper here. My standby. I've always wondered about building a wood chopper. It's basically a round of wood on the ground that you put a log on and hit it with an iron. Shouldn't be a big build. But you guys probably have enough stuff. So why don't we go back on building and get a house up here. Uh, maybe you could build the wood chopper too. Stockpiles built, storehouses in. Tiny chopper is there. We'll have 120. Funny, when Grumpy said Christmas challenge, I sort of figured like a nice, relaxing, pleasant map, build some toys, and, you know, maybe some decorations. He picked like a mountain hell. Oh, bison are coming through. Okay, we should probably build a house before everybody dies. Oh, it did build. Boom. Okay, well, let's build the second one. Okay, and let's build it. Uh, let's see. I have one builder, one laborer, one wood chop. Our food is around 700 ish. Probably gonna have to get a second gatherer in before too long. Hmm. Grumpy, grumpy, grumpy. I'm gonna send him a message and say that he's being too grumpy. All right, this should be a place for our second couple here. There we go. Okay. I'm just gonna keep these open for a while, see if we have any nookie going on. Um, hmm. So one builder, one laborer, one chopper, and one gatherer. Um, let's get the hunting cabin built. This food becomes an issue. Yeah, it's interesting. When I pick the map, Grumpy's quite unhappy because he likes the medium or the small ones. I like to spread out. Quite different playing styles. I always chuckle when I watch. We both start with the same starting conditions. What he does and what I do is quite different. Well, I guess that's the fun of gaming, right? Do your own creation. I'm kind of disappointed that Gingerbread Place is a town hall. Building Gingerbread houses would be cool. Yeah, well, and with Mega Mod here, it's kind of cool, too. All these options to play with. So our logs are kind of down again. Our wood, our wood's good though. So let's take out our chopper here. Let's maybe do a little more, a little more gathering. Okay, that's where all our logs are. It's a hunting cabin, I guess.
And we still got apples, so we got a few boats. Uh, tools are going to be an issue here. All right. Um. <laughs> Should plan with the tools. Why don't we do a... Now, I do not remember if it is the tiny or the mini. Well, let's try the mini and see what happens here. I'm pretty sure that's the one. I'm gonna put them out by the cart there. We still got a builder. Let's do that. And let's gather up some stuff and some things. Oh, I wonder if we should have tried. Okay. Well, let's build this mini workshop just in case, but then let's build Santa's workshop here. I think we got to, right? Sure that was on the right side there. Okay, probably make a few. Oh, we got a sickness here. What did we get? Influenza. Oh, well, that's pretty seasonal. Um, we don't have a hospital, of course. It could go quite badly. Hmm. Well, we got a mini hospital here. We could build. Well, why don't we build it over here? It's not too far away. We should build that fairly quickly. Um, one builder, one laborer. Let's maybe take out one gatherer. And. Builder on, and let's see if we can actually save people here. Okay. Everybody's a builder. Today. Probably a little far from the houses. There we go. A okay, duck door in. Hopefully, we got that in time. Now, where's our sick person here? Make your way over there. Good. Okay. I think knock on wood, we got away with that one. Cool. And as a bonus, we've now got a hospital, too. So. Otherwise, I would have totally forgotten until way late. Okay, we have two kids. This is cool. We have a workshop. We can put somebody in doing rough tools. Let's do that. And let's build this workshop. We're probably going to need some more stone. Um, but let's get that. iron ore. Eight, 92 logs are okay there. I don't mind designating a few more just to clear out this area. Kind of interested to see what Santa's workshop actually does. If this turns out to be a blacksmith, I'm gonna, I'll delete the workshop. Oh, well, let's save it for our hide code. Hmm. Okay. Our food's just over 1100. That's not bad. Um, firewood's still at 200. Didn't even go down at all. Yeah, we've only got one person in the gatherer, so... 
I would like to get this uh, forest lodge going so we can grow some trees and stuff here. I think honestly this is going to be our main source of food for quite a while. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I just about took my leg off when I was a kid. I was in scouts, unsupervised wood chopping. Okay. Well, it's an interesting start, the Genesis start, so it's a little bit easier than Jack and Jill or one of them. But, uh, yeah, okay. Cool. Okay, we've got some tools going on. We've got a lot of iron ore. What I might actually do, let's bump this up. And we got the logs, dude. Let's bump this up to 100. And lay in a stock of tools, and then we don't have to come back to that for a while. Um, food is falling. We're not really building this, are we? So we've got one builder and one laborer. I can see the laborers doing that. I wonder where the builder is. I mean, I don't mind them doing the removal, but I'm kind of curious about this workshop, though. And I think the next house we build, instead of one of these log houses, we'll build the, the house above the workshop. Out of ore. Okay, there was a good patch of ore in there. You know, I think what we'll do is maybe put one of those old mines or whatever those were from that team set. I really like those mines, the little mines. They get a little bit of iron. Old hovels. It was this guy here, I think. Old mine. That guy there, one of those in a little bit later. So I'm thinking of looking through the menus here. Maybe I'll do that, you know, later tonight or something. And find anything that's anything resembling like a toy or a trade good. And we can use our imagination like for what what we could make in the way of like toys or presents or whatever. Be our trade good kind of like uh, from the North Pole workshop or whatever. I don't really know, honestly, what else to do with the Christmas theme other than build. I mean, we gotta build a snowman, we gotta build Rudolph, a sleigh. I mean, I'm not usually a guy that plays around with the decorations, but I think we'll have to work on that. Candy and cookies, we will. <laughs> Warm I just, I like the sound of because I'm an old fat guy. Warm snack. I'm going to build that. How could you not build something called warm snack? Really? Alright, so let's have a look at this workshop here. Hmm. So it's got all kinds of different limits here. Now, can we afford to put somebody in there? I'm really curious to see what this produces now. Um, hmm. Well, let's build our snack jack and then let's take a builder out and put somebody in here. We've got a couple years to go. Oh yeah, what, what do you guys think about super early school here? It'll kind of, uh, you think so? Um, I guess you've played this before, I have. Usually when I see stuff with, uh, like, the limits like that, it's like they produce stuff. 
Um, what do you guys think of an early school, like put a tiny school or a small school in? Here's the pro to it. This is going to be really tough to eat, uh, get food and stuff like that because of the harsh conditions. Um, okay. Now that makes sense, yeah. Um, so education is really going to help us here. It'll make the first episode kind of slow. We'll be waiting for um, the kids to graduate, but I think it's going to be safer in the long run. Don't, actually, I think I talked myself into it. Let's build the snack shack and then let's build a, um, a small school. I think the tiny one is 14 students. I think there was one in the Christmas set there. So we'll build it just outside the forest circle. Okay, let's see if we can get snacks and then school. We got a couple years there. So. Yeah, we the person out of the work there. Shut that down. Now, our food is. Food is not awesome sauce, but. Uh, uh, let's maybe get builders going here. All right, so we'll do snack shot, school, and then get the forester lodge. That's if the pig lets us. Okay. Okay, still removing stuff over there. I want my snack shot, though, guys. Come on. Um, I hadn't really thought about Nomads, but now that I think about it, I think if we get in the jam, like if we lose people, um, maybe we'll go Nomads, but other than that, I don't think it, um, hmm, I don't think it really fits with the Christmas theme here. I think with this size of map, too. Apple and firewood, potato firewood, roasted chestnut, corn. Oh, that's very cool. And we do have probably have some apple left here. But I think we'll have to wait a little bit. Alright, so let's get our tiny school going. I'll have to remember to keep checking on the age of the kids up here too. Oh look, this family's got two boys, this family's got two boys. <laughs> Very synergistic there. Alright, school's here. The remember to look. Okay. Yeah, there was something I said I wanted to build here, and that was the forestry lodge. I have enough building. We also built two there. And I think we could use a little planting. So once it's built, put somebody in there growing, tr planting trees, then we'll remove the rest of the rocks and uh, iron ore out of there. I think, I think. I did want to sneak somebody in. Have to wait a minute. There. Okay, there's the forestry lodge. Okay, as soon as I notice somebody's nine, I'll put somebody in each of the school teachers there. Um, I do want somebody both in the hunting cabin and the I think it's important to plant here. 
because that'll help with the gatherer and everything as well too. So let's put one person in this. Take the two builders out. And food is a bit of a concern, so we're gonna have to hold off on this for a bit. And oh we actually Hmm. Gonna have to chop a bit of wood first. Forty-three logs. Hmm. Juggling people around here. Um, eight. Seven, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try running to the school and if we get in trouble, we can empty it out. But I kind of think under these harsh conditions that education is gonna be super important. Could be wrong though. We still got a ton of tools, we're okay there. Firewood's up again, so that's good. Um, nothing wrong. With this few people, you play quite a different game than you do in a late game. Hmm. I mean, honestly, it's hard to say I don't think it's worth it. Worth it. are good, logs are okay, firewood's really good, food is hovering. Bring that stock all built. And this other one here. Hmm. Tell it's been a few weeks since I've played. Okay, we've got one student and going to be a second one there. Yeah, like you said, that could be a mistake, the strategy, but we'll see. We shall see. There's really much else we can do at the moment, so we've got some stockpiles for collection. We've designated all this stuff. It might just be um uh, have coffee for a minute or two. Yeah, and again, I apologize a little bit because putting that school in means it's going to be slow for a little bit here. But I do think that's the best way of going. Assuming we can keep ourselves fed here. Oh, we got another baby. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, that was interesting to see on the Genesis start how the, the townsfolks were all very young. Which is a bit different than the other ones that were more random. They probably should stop. <laughs> I 
I uh, I guarantee you, you don't want to hear me sing, like, ever. Like, not even a happy birthday with 20 other people singing, you don't want to hear me sing. It's bad. Like, real bad. It's enthusiastic, but bad. I am completely toned. The only place I sing is in my car with the windows rolled all the way up. I do like Christmas carols, though, but it, yeah, you don't want to hear me sing. Okay, we have two students now. Now, school is relatively close to the house, so I'm thinking I'll graduate at 15 or 16 at the latest. Yeah. And then we'll have more people. I think we're on the fastest speed yet. Well, if I was doing this on YouTube, I'd probably fast forward a bit here. But, um, since we're since we're alive, we're gonna have to keep each other company for a bit. <laughs> yeah. You know, the other thing I hate to admit is I love Christmas mu movies like the rom coms and stuff. My wife laughs at me, but yeah. I think I've got about 20 of them recorded right now. I'll sit down and binge them. A glass of wine and watch a couple of Christmas movies. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I wonder. I didn't look at the description for that house. I bet you it was a family of five. Yeah, it was a wood, was it a wood cabin, wood, a horse log house. <coughs> yeah, it doesn't say how. Yeah, I do. I do, and I love it. Sorry. Um, yeah, that's what I say, my wife laughs. Alright, that was the pig timer. Um, so I'm going to just end the episode here. So that was episode one, or part one, of the Grumpy Gnome Christmas Challenge. And uh, I am Derby Moose 99 